Oh, ha, how? And welcome to another episode of Ohana Hobby Workshop. You're joined by myself, Daniel Swisher, today. And we are going to be doing some more details, taking this with Gobbo, uh, who we've nicknamed, obviously, Herdugan. Gobbo, um, there is a previous video on how we've gotten to this stage, but now we're just going to work on a few extra little details. So what we're going to do first of all, we are going to work on so these vial parts here, so like the just like potion parts, and we're going to do those in nacre green to really create some contrast between the colours we have. So as always, get a little bit onto your palette, a little bit of water, and all we're going to do is slowly just apply it like so. And then once this is done, so we're going to get a first coat on, then we're going to move on to the next colour just so we can keep it all flowing and then we will come back. But hopefully it will be dry after the first coat very quickly. Let's see what happens. So this is one of the first stages we're going to be doing is bring it up an extra level. So the reason I'm doing the green is to really give it some contrast. So it looks like we may not need a second coat. So one thing I do like about Reaper paints is you can get away with most of their colours being one coat, so there's two there. So yeah, that seems to be the only one. So what we're going to do now is we are going to move on to the scroll work. So for the scroll work, we're actually going to go a bit different with this one. We're going to actually use Raftar Flesh. So it's a bit of a difference here now. Normally I do scrolls a bit differently, obviously the standard way. Um, that I hear a lot of people use with like sand, sandy colours, but we're going to do something a bit different with this. We're going to really try some experimentation. So, all we're going to do is just go over the scrolls, try and sleep those recesses though, to really make it pop. So, it saves us going over layer. If you do make any mistakes, don't worry too much about it. Just go back in with the original shade colour that was Agrax Now Shade. So obviously, if you have Agrax, that's great. I make my own, as you will see in a lot of our videos. So all we're going to do is just slowly build up, keeping the paint easy to flow. And we're going to slowly just start adding that up. Being really careful of the recesses. So there we go, so that's the first scroll done. So we're going to go over find all the scrolls. There we go, so as you can see it's starting to really differentiate the colours now. So obviously with that we can go back to the green, and then we can actually finish off the green. Because so we're going to add a second coat, or it's just going to keep it as a one coat. But we're going to give it a bit more brightness. Right, then now, as you can see we have loads of stitch marks here, all along the helmet. The leather. So what we're actually going to do is we can get those done with the leather brown. So as always, give it a good shake. Wow, this is one I do like about uh, Reaper paints. Uh, we will, I will be covering it in another video, uh, a full sort of review on the ones I've played with. Um, and that's the really well done. But we will save that for another day. So what we're going to do is just go for it. It's not much of a contrast. Uh, seems like it but we can always add more to that contrast so 
So as always, make sure you have a nice point, especially with this sort of stuff. Make it a lot easier to get into those creases and all those stitch marks. So we're actually going to swap brush, I think. Yeah, so we're actually going to swap brush out for a bit of a small brush. So we're actually going to go to this one. Make sure it's got a nice point. And then from there, we're actually going to do the belt as well. Let me give it a bit more diversity. So we're just going to carefully get this belt like so. And then we're going to slowly work our way around this belt, trying to leave the recesses as always. We'll do another part just like so. There we go, he's starting to now actually come along really well. What we're going to do is going to move on to our highlights. So we're going to use Vallejo Silver. I've not really used much of the Vallejo Silver, I've used a lot more of like the bronzes and the coppers. This just makes it a bit more interesting. So what we're going to do is get a small amount on your brush, making sure you've got a nice fine point. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna go around these edges and we're just gonna start highlighting them. So making sure you don't have you don't overload your brush. You essentially just keep it going very nicely around. So what we're going to actually do now is we're going to go into the red. I'm actually going to build the red up a bit, a bit more than we have. So obviously we're going to go back to the piston, this part, and we are going to just go along with more of the recesses. Well, not so much recesses, but leave recesses in. I'm going to start building up the highlight. Also, as you can see, we did a catch with the silver. So we're just gonna. Luckily, it wasn't on a recess as much as I thought it would be. So we're just gonna slowly start building up. And there we go, people. So obviously, you can take it even further with another sort of highlight. But what we're just doing is we're just brightening it up a bit more. Keep those recesses nice and prominent. So we'll get a bit more on the nose while we're here. So there we go. But what can we are going to do? We're going to take the actual lever to another state. So because of how the contrast is between here and obviously we have the lever stitching, we're actually going to go back to Rectar Flesh. And what we're going to do with that? is we are going to just pick up some of the highlights, some of the creases, um, all those little ribbons, really, and just really build up a bit. So we use this part here as an example. So we're just gonna carefully run our paintbrush along the edges to really start building up some, some sort of definition with this. Gonna go a bit more. And as always, making sure your paintbrush is got a nice point, especially for when you're doing highlighting. So 
So you'll see we're already adding some texture to this. Make sure you keep the paint nice and thin. If you feel it's starting to become a bit tense on the brush, then obviously wall it down a tad more, keeping it nice and thin. And there we go people. So that is the gobbo now taken to the next step with a few highlights and then going from that. So if you did enjoy that video on how to take the Super Saiyan gobbo to the next stage please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and we will see you on another episode of Ohana Hobby Workshop.